Today's Realtor Reaction is the cheapest home for sale in Beverly Hills. I'm Realtor David Ivkovic. Welcome to LA's Coolest Homes. Let's take a look. Okay, we are looking at 9135 West 3rd Street in Beverly Hills, California, 90210. The property is listed for $1,895,000. It's a three bed, two bath, and there's an error on the listing. It shows as 101 square feet. I looked it up, it actually shows as 960. They probably did a measurement after the remodel and came out to around 1,000, but they made an error on the listing and it shows as 101. The lot size is 2,277 and it was built in 1925. And we'll take a look at the map. So here's Beverly Hills downtown. Here's Rodeo Drive and the property is just east of there at West 3rd and South Doheny Drive. And there is another error on the map. It shows this is the property, but this right here is actually the house. So this was probably one parcel of land at some point, and then it was subdivided. So it's this little guy that we'll be looking at. All right, we'll take a look at the description. Come have it all in this three bed, two bath, newly remodeled entertainer's dream home. Located in the heart of Beverly Hills, this designer remodeled smart home is just steps away from the Four Seasons Beverly Hills Hotel and minutes from Rodeo Drive, Robertson Boulevard, shops and restaurants, and the liveliness of West Hollywood. Okay, let's dive into the photos. You can see it has this funky blue paint job. They did some landscaping, this cool tile work up to the front door. Looks like a new fence. And it has a one car garage. I mean, you're paying almost $1.9 million, but it's Beverly Hills. This is kind of what you get for your money. Economy of scale, I guess. You're not gonna get a ton. Uh, and then here is an alleyway right beside this apartment building. And then you can see the one car garage. It looks like they re-poured some concrete. So they did a pretty extensive remodel, it seems. And oh, wow, I like this room. The big, huge vaulted ceilings. It was built in 1925, so most likely it didn't have that when it was first built. So it was nice that they opened it up. You can see probably a new HVAC system, in-ceiling speakers, the LED lights, open concept kitchen. And here's looking back at the front door. It looks like there's a closet. A lot of these homes, when you walk in and there's no proper foyer, you don't really have a place to put your jacket and shoes. So it's nice that they put that in. And then looking back at the kitchen, I actually really like this. They have stainless steel Viking appliances. So high end, nice stainless steel appliances, the brush brass fixtures, which is very trendy right now. And then the floating hood fan. That's great to have and it looks like a stacked washer dryer there in the hallway. Smart home device that they're promoting. <laughs> and looking back, here's the floating hood fan to the breakfast counter, looking onto the dining and living room. And there's the dining area. So I, I would say this is kind of like a condo alternative, where if you didn't want to live in a high rise, you wanted to own your own land, this is a great alternative to that. Smart home nest system. And oh wow, I like this kind of onyx or green marble accent in the walk-in shower and behind the vanity and the brush brass or brush gold. There's the shower and I guess the second bedroom, the stacked washer dryer. A lot of these homes actually didn't come with washer dryer hookups. So it's great that the contractor put that in. This is like a condo stacked washer dryer and this is probably the primary suite it has vaulted ceilings and its own ensuite bathroom here is a glass slider out to the backyard and here's the ensuite so they did this kind of funky marble accent here behind the vanity as well and in the tub shower so they've done some designer touches which is really nice to see here's probably the third bedroom and then moving outside so you have this little sitting area with the pergola here's that sliding door off the primary suite and then a little entertaining area off the kitchen the air conditioning which is probably part of the new hvac unit and looking back so you know again if you want to live in a high-rise with a balcony 
that would be your outdoor space. But here, at least you have a pretty significant backyard considering the lot size is only 2,277 square feet. And that is it. I mean, almost 2 million bucks and you can live in Beverly Hills in a house. If you really want to live down in Beverly Hills, uh, I could help you buy a house for that much money and, and you get a lot more bang for your buck, but I guess location, location, location. Well, thanks for watching. I'm David Evkovic. Make sure to like and subscribe and join me next time for more of LA's Coolest Homes. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.